transform your kitchen into a clean and beautiful space with these 12 easy DIY tricks. From arranging spices to maximizing storage, these tips will make cooking and daily tasks more enjoyable. A well-organized kitchen not only declutters your mind, but also becomes the focal point of your home. Get ready to spend some time and create the kitchen of your dreams. Next, these are 12 kitchen management tricks to declutter your mind and clutters. As always, Simphome curates you with the list. Number 12. Organize your spices with cardboard. Transform used cardboard into a stylish and functional spice rack for your kitchen. Collect good condition cardboard boxes or sheets, create a base frame that fits all your spice jars, and make smaller shelves. Use tacky glue to assemble and reinforce the frame. Add tie lines for extra support and cover with gaffer tape for a polished look. Finish with paint or spray paint to match your kitchen's decor. Say goodbye to cluttered spice cabinets with this easy DIY project. Number 11. Make your spice drawer organizer. Convert your cluttered kitchen drawers into a sleek spice rack with the next DIY project. First, cut plywood panels to fit a 16-inch wide and 4-inch tall drawer. Attach the risers and row boards using wood glue and nails. Let it sit for 30 to 45 minutes and polish or leave it rough. Label each jar for easy access. Now your kitchen will look more organized and beautiful. Number 10. A Mountain House Kitchen Organization Idea by Style by Emily Henderson Organizing your kitchen can be a struggle, but it doesn't have to be that way. Start by taking everything out and sorting it into categories. Toss expired items or items you no longer need as you go. Next, consider your flow and place frequently used items in easy-to-reach areas. Involve kids by giving them their own drawer for plates, bowls, and cups. To keep drawers clutter-free, use dividers and consider a designated tech drawer with a built-in charging strip. Number 9. Add IKEA Billy to your kitchen island. Tweak your kitchen organization management with the next IKEA Billy bookcase transformation project. Create extra storage under your island by cutting and rebuilding the bookcase to fit your space. Remove the back for a sleek look and paint it white for a cohesive IKEA aesthetic. Secure the frame to your island cabinet and add a touch of elegance by attaching lumber to the shelves' edges. Lastly, repaint everything for a more polished finish. Number 8. A cute mason jar idea for more organized-looking utensils. Transform cluttered kitchen counters and drawers into unique, multifunctional, and attractive utensil storage with used jars. Simply remove the lids, wash and dry the jars, apply paint on the inside, and let dry overnight. For added durability, recoat with a polyacrylic and label for a personal touch. Number 7. Organize plastic container lids smartly. Rejuvenate your kitchen with the next simple DIY project. Utilize dollar store cooling racks and a plastic bin to create efficient container lid storage. Simply place the cooling rack on top of the bin or fit it inside. Slot the lids in between the racks for easy organization and save space by storing them in kitchen drawers. Number 6. A sturdy DIY open shelving kitchen project idea with IKEA brackets. Turn your small kitchen into a more stylish and functional space by creating a new open shelving system. These shelves not only provide sturdy storage for plates and herbs, but they also add a touch of design to your kitchen. With IKEA Ekby brackets and wooden decking boards, creating these shelves is easy and cost-effective. Simply cut the decking boards to fit the brackets, sand, stain, and seal for a custom look. Then slip the boards into the brackets and secure them to the wall for a functional and beautiful addition to your kitchen. Number 5. Use tension rods to store more bottles and cans. Stacking and arranging bottles and cans horizontally in the pantry can make things tidy. However, use other strategies instead to provide extra space to store other important food. Here's another use for tension rods. It hangs curtains and is effectively partitioned between piles of mineral water bottles and cans of soft drinks. Install tension rods vertically in your pantry. Make sure you attach it firmly between the top and bottom shelves so it doesn't wobble easily. After that, slot the bottles and cans as much as possible between the tension rods. And finally, everything's in order. Now you're saving more space in the pantry. Number 4. A DIY pull-out slotted drawer for cookie sheets, pizza pans, cutting boards, etc. Reorganize your cluttered kitchen with the next DIY pull-out drawer for your cookie sheets, cutting boards, and pizza pans. Cut a sheet of plywood to length and assemble the sides to the bottom, front, and back. Create dividers for the inside of the drawer, 
install them using spacers, and add shims made of two layers of plywood to prevent bumping into the face frame or hinges. Finally, install the drawer slides and you're done. A simple yet functional solution to your kitchen storage woes, isn't it? Number 3. A Tiered Slim Spice Drawer Idea A messy drawer seems to be a never-ending issue, and investing in drawer dividers is likely to be a brilliant solution. You can actually get one in stores, but if you're a DIY addict, making one yourself will be your choice. Besides, you can customize it to your liking. This drawer divider, for example, can help you organize your spices better because it can optimize the available space in your drawer. You can begin with creating the lower drawer divider from half-inch poplar boards. Once it's ready, you can insert it into your drawer. You will not secure it to the drawer, though. This way, you can remove the divider easily when you want to clean the drawer. For this reason, you need to do thorough measurements so that the divider fits perfectly inside your drawer. Once you have installed the bottom drawer, you can begin to create another divider to make use of the remaining 2 inches space. To make the top drawer divider, you will still need half-inch poplar material, but you'll also need a quarter-inch plywood board for the bottom. After assembling the pieces, cut the back of your drawer to allow the top divider to slide out. Finally, install the drawer slides by following the top edge line of your drawer. Number 2. An Appliance Garage DIY Idea by Swats & Co. This appliance garage is made of an IKEA wall cabinet, while the doors and exterior panels are from Semi Handmade. The owner added a twist to it by installing pocket doors, which make the cabinet super stylist while saving more space. If you're interested in implementing this idea, you must leave a gap between the inside walls and the exterior panels. To make it easier, you can purchase pocket door hardware so you don't have to make pocket doors from scratch. If your appliance garage is not too deep, your pocket doors will be recessed awkwardly. The solution to this problem is by making a space past the drywall. This way, the doors can recess further. Before we complete the countdown with our final choice of the current list, we'd like to inform you that if you need other improvement ideas, you have Simphome Content Collections on your side. There, we cover other interesting topics such as garden, home improvement, finance, bathroom upgrade, bedroom update ideas, and many more. We'll see you there, and until we meet again sometime in the future, let's close our countdown with number one. Use your kitchen cabinet door more efficiently. Take the next idea and you'll be able to transform your kitchen doors into storage space with this easy DIY project. First, cut a 2 by 10 inch pine board for the side pieces and a 19 and a half inch piece for the bottom. Attach them together with wood glue and nails to form a U shape. Add two 21 inch border pieces for the front and a 10 by 21 inch plywood for the back. Finally, paint it to match your kitchen decor and install it on the door with nails or screws. Now you can store foil, wrap, and plastic bags in a convenient and space-saving way. That's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching the video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Like the video if you believe it will motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly though, it's more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project. See you again soon.